meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. All right, we're looking ahead 10 days and I am seeing some changes coming in. Can you see where they are? Yeah, at the end of this 10 days, you see a pronounced drop in the temperature and then the green numbers representing the precipitation probability. And next Monday, a week from today, we've got that. But today, 55 degrees and then we'd slow climb, barely getting up to near 60. So more of the same this week, although we'll add some cloud cover. This little dip right here is the disturbance that comes in towards the beginning of the week and could even be some snow showers. Even in the next couple of days, there could be some snow showers in the higher mountains. This is nothing that really will accumulate much of anything. But as this system starts to work in, this is our first threat for rain for the valley in a long time could came in on Monday. It doesn't look like it's a big deal, but behind it, this cooler weather and you see this we get out to the 20th and the 21st. Those next systems, once the cool air is in place, that's bringing the jet stream further south and that's going to line up the, the storm track to push onshore from the west across the west coast instead of out of Canada from the north where it's dry. We'll start to see more moisture coming on in. This chart's got a lot of green, which means a low probability of precipitation for the Boise area over the next 10 days as we look down. But there it is next Monday in the morning, moderate and in the afternoon, another moderate chance of some showers maybe popping on up. Something we'll keep a close eye on. In the meantime, Bogus Basin today can't blow any snow because there's no not enough cold air in place, but it's going to start to change here. We're going to have a chance of some snow coming in. It's going to take a while still. We're not it's not we're talking in the next few days here. Even over the weekend, I don't think anything's going to happen here because we're too far south. But when that weather pattern changes, the 20th to the 25th start to bring some snow into Bogus Basin. So right now it's a lot of brown on the map which is our air stagnation advisory, some high clouds drifting on through. And you notice all these high clouds down here. They're all continuing to slide towards the Treasure Valley here. So we've got a ridge of high pressure that's keeping the storm track right up here to the north. That will continue, but we'll still see clouds spilling in and that will kind of give us a murky sky for a little while. Still mild here in the storm track going to the north. The colder weather kind of backed its way into to Montana and that's where we've cooled in western Montana and in central Idaho, but the mild weather still continues across southwest Idaho. It shows up very well here. Bozeman was in the 60s last week, now 21 for a high today. All the weather changes there, but we're sitting in the middle with 50s here near 70 in Medford. So warm weather still to the south and to the west. So future snow, there's a couple of snowflakes here between now and Thursday. You see a few places where we get a dusting of snow on some of the higher peaks, and that's really about it. But here's the six day forecast now with our European computer forecast model. Here's dry weather midweek. Here's our first chance for precipitation over the weekend, primarily for central Idaho. This is typically overdone, but in here there's a chance for a couple of showers and some snow showers up in the higher peaks, but we're still at 58. It is this frame right here where we start to see a chance for moisture pushing down south during the day on Monday. And then as we go through, you see it right in here later in the day, Monday into Tuesday morning. There it is swinging on through. This doesn't show it, but the 20th to 25th, we have a chance for a series of storms starting to push their way in. So that first 10 days, now we're seeing the blues push further to the south here. That's a more appreciable chance for we're starting to get some snow. You see two to three inches of moisture up around Seattle. That's a bit of a change coming in. And as far as the snowfall goes, it doesn't show a lot, but we start to see it filling up here in the Central Mountains. This is through the 21st. If this went through the 28th, this would start to load up with more than a foot to 18 inches of snow in the Central Mountains. That will be a welcome change coming in. In the meantime, more dry weather, just like we had today. High temperatures in the mid 50s, a little less wind tomorrow, be less breezy, and we'll have a lot more cloud cover mixed with the sunshine from time to time, but still temperatures primarily in the 50s. My extended forecast here showing more of the same all the way to Friday. Not much going on. A slight chance in the mountains for some precipitation. But next Monday, Don, this time next week, we could be saying finally a chance for rain. It may end up being almost nothing, but it's I something. see the change. <laughs> I see the change right. before the Thanksgiving week. We could be getting one, two, three storms just shooting in off the Pacific. That would be great news. For the skiers, that, that, that would be nice. Yeah, we need that precipitation. All right, thanks, guys.